What's up guys? This is Geeta Thakur. We are doing NCRT class 10 science and we are continuing with the chapter reflection. In this video, we are going to be understanding about real, virtual images and objects. Actually, just understand the distinction between real images, virtual images and objects. To do that, I think we initially really need to understand how we see things. So that's how we are going to begin. So I have over here a bulb which is a source of light. It's going to hit this ball of ours. We're going to imagine right now that it's just hitting at one particular point. When light hits it, it's going to reflect off in all, 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 all of these directions. And this does not just happen with one point. In fact, the ray of light is also going to hit this point and it's going to reflect off in all directions. It's going to hit this point and it's going to reflect off, off in all directions. But for our convenience, we're going to choose this point now, it's actually a multitude of rays that come out of this point. All of these are rays, but we are going to focus on the two extreme rays that our eye catches. Right here is our eye. Right. What happens is we have a converging lens and these two rays of light converge at the retina. And this is what allows us to see that point. The image formed on our retina is known as a real image. I want you to notice two things over here. It's the light that has come directly out of the object. It's the reflected light. And this light has converged from a lens and it's formed on our retina. I'd like to show you the same thing over here with a small experiment. So we just learned that we are going to see two rays. Two rays of light are extremely important to understand how an object is seen, how one point is actually seen. So I have two rays of light coming out of here from one point and as you can see they keep diverging. But if I place a convex lens, the rays converge. Now over here what I find is I find a blurred image. As I keep going towards the focal length, right here I get a very crisp image. I get a point again. This is what we are talking about when we say an image is formed on the retina. The image that you see right now is the real image. This is the same sort of image that forms on the retina. So when the two rays converge at that point, we have a real image. Now let me show you something that happens. Right now I have just one object. I am doing this just from one point. When I have light coming out of two sources, you can see I have two be diverging beams of light. In order to get an image, the two diverging beams need to converge. My convex lens takes care of that. But what it also does in this case, you can see, is it flips the image. When, when the diverging beams coming out of A converge, and when the diverging beams out of B converge, they actually meet at the opposite ends. This flips the image. So often a real image will be flipped. All right, so whenever I see an object, let's say I'm seeing this, light hits this object, reflects off of it, and then from one point, we have two rays that come out and they converge on my retina. If I'm seeing this, again, we assume two rays are coming off, they converge on my retina, and this is a real image. Whenever light appears, when, when it comes out of an object, converges and meets on real light rays, reflected light rays, when they converge on my retina, that is a real image. They are usually inverted and that's the definition for a real image. Whenever I'm seeing anything, anything at all on my retina, even if it's a reflection of myself, on my retina, it forms a real image because light rays are directly coming off of it and falling on my retina or on the screen like we saw the images those were real images as we go to the red ball we now understand how these two rays diverging out of the same point converge and meet at our retina this image is a real image if i were to take another point on the ball let's say point b and construct the ray diagram for how I see the ray point B, it converges on another point on my retina. But A, B together is now flipped. So real images are images where the light rays directly converge. This happens in the case of a retina. It happened in the case of the screen that we were obtaining the image on. It happens in movie theaters, in cinemas. And the image is usually inverted. 
Now let's talk about a virtual image. What is a virtual image? Let's say my eyes are receiving these two rays of light. It actually just imagines that the object is out here. But hold this thought for a second. Let me place a mirror over here and do this. So we can see that these rays aren't really coming out of an object, but they are coming out of a reflection on a mirror. There is no object out there. This image is known as a virtual image. When there is no object, however, you think there is an object. Our eyes think there is an object because light has bended and the information that we are receiving in our eyes is as though it's directly coming from here. The image thus obtained over here is known as a virtual image. In my opinion, a virtual image is just an illusion of an object. We think that an object is there. And why does our brain perceive so? Our brain isn't used to understanding that this light is a reflected of light. So what our brain does is, is it projects these rays backwards and traces where the object should be according to it. So the light rays that you receive out of a virtual image are the same rays you would have received had an object been there. Because if an object was there, the light rays would have diverged out of it in such, in such a way. But all that is happening is there is reflection happening on the surface and we assume that the light rays are beginning out of an object and they really are not. So a virtual image isn't really an image that is obtained on a screen. It just so appears that there is an object there out of which light is diverging outwards. So that's it guys. I hope this video helped you understand the concept of real and virtual images, what are objects. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I will get, try to get to them as soon as possible. Please subscribe if you've been enjoying watching the videos and hit the bell icon to be notified when a new video comes up. Thank you and take care.